this one. Oops. Sorry, so this is a bit laborious now. But there are other instances where you wouldn't, you know, you, you, you could contain everything within the <coughs> within that uh, that abstraction. So um, now I can have all of these on as as table. Um, oscillators. So you get the idea. Okay, so um, that shows you how to integrate um, the uh, this wavetable kind of oscillator uh, into. Uh, the additive synthesis patch, and also how to make some abstractions, which will, uh, um, uh, which are making essentially your own objects. One additional thing, um, I told you that you can't, if you sorry, if you double click on the oscillator oscillators object and you go in, you can't modify the. Uh, this sub patch because essentially it's a kind of closed object if you like. So uh, in order to change it you would either have to go back to the folder in which you've stored it, which I think is this one. Where are we? There we go. And so the oscillators sub patch is now in there um, along with the patch that I've just made which is, uh, so, so that's the main patch um, and then this is the oscillators patch. So they're both in the same folder if I want to modify it, I can either double click on that oscillators one and uh, uh, and it opens, you notice it opens right over the top of the uh, the, uh, the the one we just had but notice that it doesn't have the square brackets around it, it is its own independent object now if you like uh, or sorry, independent patch um, and I can unlock this one and I can modify it so I can put in, I'm going to put in a, a kind of bogus object for the time being. I'll just put in a, a, a button object. Uh, I'll make it big so that it's obvious. Okay. And now, um, as soon as I save that, then all of the other sub-patches are updated. So remember that this one is, uh, well, it just happens to be this oscillator's one. But if I save this one, this, uh, this, unlocked patch, then that one disappears. Uh, if I then go into this one, then you notice that the button object is there. If I uh, uh, double click on any of these, the button object is there. Okay, So it's basically updated all of them. And that's another great advantage of the abstractions object, is that if you've got multiples of these, you want them all to be updated in the same way, you can do that. Um, <coughs> you can, incidentally, you can uh, access the original um, uh, file from within this, uh, for, from within your max patch, your main max patch. If you control click or, or right click um, on the oscillators object, then the bottom uh, menu item uh, under object it says open original oscillators and it will open the original oscillators. Remember it doesn't have the square brackets around it and you can uh, unlock it and work with it. Um, so there you go. Abstractions. And one more thing. Um, I've just, uh, just suddenly occurred to me um, I, I said earlier that you'd have to change each of these menu items independently. Well, in fact, you don't have to. If you select all of them at the same time, so drag a loop around them so that they're all selected, um, and then go to the uh, inspector window, in fact, the inspector window refers to all of those objects. So, um, And you'll notice this whenever you select multiple uh, objects. All of the common... Um, setting settings fields, if you like, uh, will you know, or at least the settings fields that are common to all of the objects that you've selected will all be available, and you can choose them. Um, 
so uh, so that's that, that that's what we've got here. In fact, they're all Umenu uh, objects, so they all come up with the same. Um, and here, if I go to menu items, choose that one. I'll put in a, another kind of bogus one, so I'll call it blob. Um, OK that, and you will notice that all of the menu items now have blob in them. So that's another little... Uh, so in fact, it isn't such a laborious process after all.